it's, what it's you're saying is the DC front center, recharging right. portal for a Nissan Leaf. This is the DC fast charge side. Almost 500 volts. And this is the level two recharging side. If you listen carefully, all you do is unhook this, and that's what the level two recharging unit looks like. These two are communication portals. And these are your three points for your regular household current type charge, even though this is 240 volt. But all you do is stick it in, think about it. And there's a little click when it's connected. That's how you know the it's connected and it takes care of the communications and then once the car and the EVSE say it's ready to charge it starts charging that's how you charge an Nissan Leaf. Put your foot on the brake. There we go. Oh nice little tune. Okay. So basically this is your navigation system in the okay. car it's powered by car wings there are a number of screens which you've seen. If you've seen the presentation, you kind of know. Oh. So this is your drivable range in the car. So based on how much fuel it has, electricity, it's right. telling me how far I can go. And you've got your 81 miles here, which is redundant okay. on the grid right in front of you. 56 miles is your safe range, which Nissan gives to you because um, this range is as the crow flies. So it doesn't take into account things like geography and twisty turny roads and things gotcha. of that nature. So you've got 56 miles of completely safe range. Okay. So um, to put it in drive, you just pull this toward you and down. It's a toggle switch. It says drive. Yes. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Looks like I can see everything out of my mirrors. Hey, see you, Jim. <laughs> Horse can hear nothing. Now I do have a little red light here that's got forward, backward. That's, I'm sorry, forward, backward. This little light right here? I, I see the green light. Oh, is that green? Yeah. Sorry, I'm colorblind. Oh, yeah, it's green. What's that's, it saying? That's just indicating that you're in drive mode. Okay. Um, eventually, you'll be able to, this will populate with all of your nearby stations. Well, and it's actually showing you this one that just came online today. Oh. Order Park Boulevard, so 250 feet that way is okay. your charging station. You will be able, this will be a car wings push and you'll get all your new updated stations every three months that'll just come automatically to your car. Car wings, the software provider? Car, yes, and then you can also go in and um, manually update stations so if you see a station that you know about that you want to use you can go in and put that in this is what we call our hyper milers screen okay. so it's actually showing you how much energy you're using to power your electric motor right now it is showing you that you're using almost five kilowatts of your electric power to run your heater if ah. you turn off your climate control it increases your range gotcha by about 11 miles and that uh, slowly goes from 4.5 to 0. Yes. And so when you brake, you'll notice that you've got regenerative braking going on down here. So it goes in the negative range. It goes in the so. negative range. Now reverse over and forward. Yes, and, and you like have the car. and you have the backup camera uh, to show you what's behind you. Nice. And on our production models there is a there's like a beeping noise that will happen as you're backing up as well. Your typical um, sound you hear when trucks reverse. Exactly. Now you can also put it into eco mode which will increase your driving range by about 10% by just putting it in drive one more time. And you can do it as you're driving, you don't have to brake. Do you feel a little... I did. And you also see that you're in eco mode by on your drive screen. The drive symbol went from a D to E C O. Right. And that increased you from 88 miles to 98 miles of drivable range. Okay. Now what are the loops at the top of well, the... Well actually that Go ahead and accelerate. Let me see. There may be an issue. Yeah. See, that's showing you how much power you're using with your electric motor. So you're redundant here and here. Okay. And then this little up in the upper left corner where it oh. shows that you're going 28 miles an hour, that is your eco meter. And so as you drive very conservatively, um, it will drop over. Well, actually, no, you're driving very conservatively right now. So, because you're in eco mode. Yes, yeah, so it's showing you that you're driving very conservatively. And if you drive far enough, you'll start building trees. Start building trees? Mm -hmm. You'll first get a little trunk and then you'll get some branches. And awesome. then when you build a whole tree, it'll move off to the side and you'll build your next one. I think you can build like a forest of four. Wow. <laughs>
our own Sims in our leaf. There you go. <laughs> and then, well, I see, and then so I see, I see lots of information about charging. It looks like it's, it's saying two 100% charge. I was saying 40 minutes at each of those types. Right. To go to a full charge. To get, a, yeah, to, get to 100%. And it looks like this car has a little over 2,000 drive miles on it. Uh-huh. Well, this one's been around a little while. This has been around a little while. It's been okay. on lots of test drives. Well, it drives very well. It feels, you know, I'm not doing a whole lot of uh, interacting in New York downtown traffic or anything, but it, driving smooth, um, everything feels really solid. It's got electronic steering because of the electric motor and everything, which basically means it'll be looser at lower speeds and then it'll tighten up at higher speeds to give okay. you more control of the car. Very comfortable. Looks like once I learned all the controls, they're all at my fingertips. Um, to get to your CD player, it's right back here behind nice. your screen, okay. and then you also have your um, ports for your um, iPhones and whatnot. Ah, oh, so you can put cards and such in there. Exactly. Can you connect an iPod? Mm, well, there is the, the the auxiliary port down okay. here. Okay. To you know, do things like plug in your phone, plug in your iPod. Um, you don't really need a GPS because you've got navigation on the car, which comes standard. Um, you can plug in an address and it will show you what your, whether that address is within your drivable range initially. And I think one of the options is a $350 a month lease. Is that yes, correct? Yes, it's $349. $349. Yes. And it, it, everything comes, I mean, all the standard features we're talking about come with the lease vehicle too. Yes, there are. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's, there's no difference between really a um, car for purchase and a car for lease. Um, in terms of what features are available, there are two trim packages um, available for the car. Um, there's the base trim, and then there's the upper level trim model, and it's about $940 more, and um, it will give you the solar panel on the rear spoiler and the rear camera backup are both parts of the upper level trim package. The so rear this, camera comes with the... With the upper trim. Yes. You dry. drive, yes. Well, and the, the shifting works really smooth. It is uh, very simple. Yeah, it's a single gearbox, that, but all it does is spin the wheels. So you don't have a transmission in this car. There we go. Rear view mirror. Very nice. There we go. Okay, and to put it in park, you just push the button. And then you turn it off. That's it. Nancy, thank you. You're very welcome.